today we are in my painting studio at St. Mary's Studios, Studio 12. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to actually make these wood frames for my frescoes. And you can use these either for painting directly on or you can use them for the fresco. And as you see back here, this is, I've got the wood, the lath, and layers of, of fresco on it. Here is a finished one. And it's kind of heavy. It's about 20 pounds, 15, 20 pounds. But this is what the back looks like and then the front. And I'm going to show you, step through the individual steps right here and then show you each step of cutting. Okay, so today we are in the wood shop, which is outside in uh, our backyard. And um, we're going to talk about how to make a frame for the back of my frescoes. And this involves cutting one by two and plywood sheathing. I've got three eighths inch plywood and uh, I'm going to show you the whole process. I created a fence, an extended fence with a drafting pin with a drafting table so I can get a wider a wider amount cut wider boards. And that will stop it. A fence means to stop the wood right at the exact spot. So now we have well, exactly so you get, yeah. yeah, you can get exact cuts without yeah. without making a line. Otherwise, I'd have to draw a line and then I'd have to hopefully push it through and keep a straight cut. I mean, using a fence as a guide People do, do it with circular saws, but this, this worked out for me. This was the, the, the best solution. This is the miter saw. It's set up at 45. Um, I've got an 80, uh, 80 tooth blade on, on this old Rockwell. I'm going to make my first cut, it's 45, and then uh, I already made the cut. And then I've got a stop over here, so this way I can zip through them. Okay, uh, just to double check my, uh, my, my length with my panels, I will come over before I set my, my, my next, so I'll, I'll cut the second 45. Okay, so what we've done is we've gone ahead and cut all of the sides. We have enough for six frames and six pieces of sheathing. And what has to happen now is they have to be attached together. The corners have to be attached to each other and then uh, attached to the plywoods. Okay, so now we're going to show the process of putting the frame and together. First, you're going to put some glue in the corners, in the miters, the 45 miter, and see how he sets it right into a T-square so that it fits perfectly. It's a square corner. is uh, 
putting a staple in both sides. Okay, so all the, all the staples are firmly in there. Now we're just going to double check it real quick and then add some glue and it will be ready to be finished. Thank you for joining us today at St. Mary's Studios to learn how to make a wood frame for frescoes. Now that these are done and they're dry, you can see how they're perfectly attached to the frame below it. The, the panel is attached to the frame and this is very sturdy. We make this frame behind it so that when we start to work on with plaster, which is very wet, that these won't start to warp. So these are very sturdy now. And the next step would be to attach this metal lath to it, which I've done a whole separate video on, which you can see in my on my Patreon page. So thanks again for joining me. And next up, we'll be doing some painting on Fresco. I look forward to seeing you again. And until next time, happy painting.